Hello everybody. Welcome to Between Two Belors. I'm here with uh, my friend, gentleman, scholar, Cody Barton. Pleasure to be here. Fif 57. <laughs> uh, Cody, uh, tell us a little bit about what inspired the haircut, the new look. Well, one of my teammates, John Radigan, you know, came from West Point and mm. You know, I respect, you know, what he was doing when he went to West Point, and now that he's here in the, in the league representing, you know, I thought he could, he could use some help. So a tribute to a rookie. Mm -hmm. It's not, you don't see that too often. That's, uh, it's not <clears> great, but I, I'll allow it. Um, do you think I could pull off a haircut like that? Um, with your bald spot? No. Guys, I, I thought we couldn't. I thought you guys told them that they couldn't talk about like a fried egg, just no, no, no. I, I know, I know what it, it looks like. Um, anyways, um, tell us a little bit about uh, your journey here to the Seahawks from the great state of Utah. Yeah, played at Utah. Got drafted to the Seahawks. Wow, let's do it. Profound stuff. You heard it here Inspiring. first. Um, so well, thank you for that. Um, this is the kind of real conversation we look for in between two Belors. Um, what does playing next to me mean to you? Yeah, you you don't have to be long-winded. You can just it can be. It's a, it means a lot to me. Obviously, as a uh, linebacker, you obviously don't view punters and kickers and long snappers as part of the team in the same way, yeah. right? Now, if you were at the Pro Bowl and uh, old Dicko ran around the edge, you would knock his head off, yeah, correct? Yeah, kill him, yeah. Okay, all right. I just wanted to confirm that, was, that would be the same thing. How excited were you to see that I was on the special teams ballot for the Pro Bowl and you were left off of it? <laughs> Um, I was hurt, honestly. You know, a lot of guys upstairs were saying they were going to get me on that ballot, and they double-crossed me, and, well, they told me they were going to make sure you didn't get on there and that I was going to be on there, but um, it didn't happen that way. Now, would you forgive everything if I were to make it and write 57 on my tape? Yes. How would you match up in a game against Larry Izzo, special teams coordinator for the Seattle Seahawks, in his prime. He must have been an absolute dirtbag playing. So what would you do? What kind of moves? What would you grab? What would you pull? <laughs> if I'm holding him up, I'm pulling his hair. Yes. I'm going to get some long hair. That being said, if I saw him, he was like foaming at the mouth. Stay away? I don't know. I'm staying away. Call timeout. Now, do you think that's the issue with his hair now, is it was getting pulled while he was playing? Yeah, there's a, yeah, it's bad. I mean, that's why, I'm sure that's why he wears hats a lot. If anyone's seen a picture of the back of his head, it's, it's something you'll never forget. I know, I've never forgot. I never will. Cody, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it, we covered a lot of ground. I know you have nothing better to do, so I'm glad you joined us. Thanks, Papa. Thank you.